Hi folks, Eric from Langchain here, and today we're going to go through a quick demo of the Langchain Airbyte package. Um, as some of you may have followed, uh, Airbyte launched their Pi Airbyte uh, kind of Python native uh, data loading integration this morning, and we're really excited to be a launch partner of them. Um, and one of the use cases that I was most excited about using Airbyte for was loading in all of the pull request descriptions that all of you contribute uh, to the Langchain repository. As many of you know, we uh, get a lot of pull requests against the Langchain repository, and sometimes finding old ones uh, doesn't work super well because GitHub uh, pull request search uh, mostly just matches keywords, um, and yeah, sometimes it's hard to find things. And so today we're going to just index all of our PR titles and descriptions um, into a Chroma vector store, and then we can kind of find old PRs um, based on semantic search. Um, so yeah, it, the package to use is the Langchain Airbyte package. This implements a document loader. Um, you can also just pip install uh, Airbyte on its own. Um, that's the Pi Airbyte package that they launched today. Um, and they actually have a two documents method as well, but we won't be going through that today. Um, but that converts to a document that has a similar format to a Langchain document. And so you can actually use it in all of the processing pipelines because of Python duct typing. Um, the other thing that we're going to need today is I, I already loaded in a GitHub token um, in order to authenticate uh, my loading from GitHub because otherwise GitHub would rate limit me while we load our 10,000 pull requests. Um, so let's walk through actually uh, all the configuration necessary for Airbyte Loader. Um, so all of the meat of this integration package is actually in this one cell. So let's go through it. Um, the main thing you'll need to import is Airbyte Loader. Um, that is the new kind of catch-all loader for all of Airbyte's connectors. Uh, it runs in the same event loop as everything else. Um, so you don't need to run any Docker containers or anything like that, which you needed to do for the old Airbyte integrations. Um, and yeah, we can configure it below. And then we're also going to import our Langchain prompt template in order to format uh, some of the data that comes in from Airbyte as little markdown documents. Um, so to construct our loader, uh, we're going to create an Airbyte loader. We're going to use the GitHub source. Um, I'll post a link in the description to all of the sources that Airbyte offers. Um, but today, we're going to be loading GitHub pull requests, so we're going to uh, use source GitHub. Um, you also get to define a stream. So within source GitHub, you can load GitHub issues, pull requests, repositories. Um, there's a lot of different types of data that you can load in. Um, and for this demo, we're going to be looking at pull requests. Um, and then you're going to need some configuration. Uh, so the first one is you're going to need some credentials. Um, not all of the source connectors need this, uh, but for GitHub, uh, in order to not get rate limited, you need a GitHub token, which I loaded in above. Um, and then you need to define which repositories you actually want to load pull requests for. And so today we're going to be focused on Langchain AI Langchain, um, but you can do this for any repository. Um, and then the last thing is actually an optional uh, parameter which is the template, um, which is something specific to the Langchain integration. Um, I'm just going to format the data that comes back as title, um, as kind of a markdown title at the top with the title of the pull request. We're going to populate the user's GitHub handle in there in case we wanted to search by, um, I don't know, which PRs were, were implemented by Harrison or something like that. Um, and then we'll just put the pull request body in there. Um, so many of the pull requests that get put up against the Langchain repository have uh, descriptions, and so that's what's going to populate in there. Um, and I actually already ran this because it takes seven minutes to load all the 10,000 of those pull requests, um, and then we can just dive right in. So here's kind of an example um, of a pull request that was uh, put up this morning, I believe, um, and we're essentially just getting the title, um, the GitHub handle of uh, the, the person who put it up, and then also all of the body that they have for this. Um, and so uh, this one seems to mostly have the information in this kind of PR message, um, which is about kind of updating the readme file of, of a uh, package. And uh, that's kind of what we'll be able to index in a bit. Um, so the next step is actually just creating a vector store from that. So actually, if we just inspect what our docs are, um, 
it's just a list of documents and we have 10,283 um, kind of pull request documents in there. Um, and so what do we want to do with them? We want to create embeddings for them and load them into a vector store. Um, I'm going to use a Chroma vector store here just because it's easy to configure. Um, and there's actually a slight gotcha here um, with the OpenAI embeddings that I ran to, into while I was preparing for this. Um, and it's that we actually had to configure a disallowed special um, parameter because uh, one of the pull request bodies has kind of a special OpenAI token of end of prompt, um, which uh, kind of interfered with that. So we had to uh, configure that. That's why we had to do the kind of get the, get the encoding from tick token for, um, for the ADA model. Um, but essentially what we're doing here is we're just passing in our 10,000 documents and defining which embedding function we want to use for our vector store. And so in this case, we're going to use op the default OpenAI embeddings model. Um, and then, as mentioned, we're going to configure that disallowed special uh, character here. Um, but for most use cases, you will not have to do that. Um, the error messaging around this is actually pretty clear. So you can um, just use a default OpenAI embeddings like this for most use cases. Um, but if you run into that error, now you know how to do that. Um, so our vector store is actually created and let's, uh, let's see if we can retrieve some things from it. So let's get our default, uh, vector store, uh, retriever, which is vector store now as a retriever. Um, and we can, uh, see if we can run some queries again against it. So let's see if we can get some um documentation pull requests um so here ideally we'll get some pull requests where here will's updating the tracing docs um we have some use case understanding docs a doc manager which actually um isn't documentation but i guess documentation uh, document related so that's probably why the semantic search pulled that um, and then runnable documentation by Eugene. Um, so that seems to be working. Um, we can also search for more specific things. So we, we had kind of an IBM package above, so maybe we want pull requests related to IBM. Um, and we can see that the pull request, the PR we saw uh, above is actually loaded in as well, because here it's updating the IBM readme. And we can also see uh, Mateus's PR implementing the original IBM package um, and actually an even older community integration for some of the IBM stuff. Um, so that is the Airbyte integration applied to loading GitHub PRs. Um, really excited about uh, all the things that people are going to build loading documents from different Airbyte sources um, and let us know how you're using it. Um, I'm really excited about uh, the different ways people use it. Thanks.